Hey everyone, Chris Stoltz coming at you today from the Far Point. It's a toy show, toy show, and uh, we set up here and we're also gonna see what else we could find. So let's take a look. So here we have all the vendors set up outside. Cinnamon Sickness and I shared a space in the back. Where I had plenty of Muppet stuff and more for sale. I did see a few vendors with Muppet items throughout the show. Like these plastic head cups by Applause. These Sesame Street records. And these Sesame Street Tommy action figures. Of course, Far Point itself is a toy store specializing in both new and vintage toys with a toy museum inside. All right, let's take a look. As you walk in, you see their selection of for sale Transformers and G.I. Joe figures. When I said this place is stacked, it's literally floor to ceiling. Here's just a few of the aircraft for sale. The next room is all full of superheroes. So they have superhero action figures for sale. as well as a slew of comic books. Here we see their He-Man and the Masters of the Universe section. Their main room is all Star Wars and they have a vintage display of Star Wars figures, classic vehicles and accessories for sale, a 
a bunch of other Star Wars figures and accessories. And a giant Boba Fett watching over. A selection of Star Trek The Next Generation figures. Vintage video games and video game related toys. Classic Star Trek and Voltron. Battlestar Galactica. Nintendo and Sega games. Happy Meal toys. PVCs and other small figures. Pez. Diecast cars. A whole section of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, including large versions of the characters used in the 1990 movie created by Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Silverhawks. The A Team. Brave Star. Robotech. Dune, Wrestling, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Dino Riders, E.T., A selection of glasses from McDonald's, including one from the Great Muppet Caper. Doctor Who. Speed Racer. The Shadow. Toxic Crusaders. Gargoyles. Willow, Dick Tracy, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, Monster Trucks, Mask, Classic Movie Monsters Power Rangers Dragon Ball Z Movie Trading Cards Littlest Pet Shop Trolls Smurfs, Care Bears, Strawberry Shortcake, My Little Pony, Large Vintage Ninja Turtles, and a Mickey Mouse phone. And that was just a small portion of the items for sale. In the museum section, they had displays of Sectars, Voltron, Shogun, Smurfs, Barbie, Wrestling, Cops, California Raisins, Strawberry Shortcake, Robocop, Changeables, Power Lords, Terminator 2, Brave Star, Visionaries, Starry Wars, Robotech, Thundercats,
snorks. Indiana Jones. Silverhawks. Mad Balls. Boy George and Michael Jackson Dolls. E.T. Gumby. And a whole bunch of board games. Including the Great Muppet Caper card game. and the Muppet Show game. Here we see a Return of the Jedi cabinet, an entire cabinet full of crash test dummies, Captain Planet, Street Sharks, Battle Trolls, Predator, Aliens, Bucky O'Hare, Toxic Crusaders, Biker Mice from Mars, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, including a giant button of the Henson Creature Shop versions of the characters from the 1990 movie, and the extended line of characters and vehicles. and a selection of large vehicles. There's also figures for Stargate, Cops, Centurions, Battlestar Galactica, The A-Team, Starcom, The Dukes of Hazard. The Lone Ranger, Star Trek, The Black Hole, Tron, Changeables, Transformers, Mask, and Dino Riders. Here we see the Eternia Masters of the Universe playset and the Hall of Justice, Power Rangers, Rambo, Delta Force, Battle Beasts, and a collection of Marvel and DC comic book characters, figures from the 1989 Batman, The Million Dollar Man, G.I. Joe, and Jaws. There's even a whole cabinet of Ghostbusters figures and accessories. including the real Ghostbusters, and Filmation's Ghostbusters as well, and an entire cabinet full of My Little Ponies.
You can become a Farpoint VIP by using this QR code or using the links in the description. Okay, now let me show you what I picked up. A copy of the Sesame Street Concert On Stage Live from 1977. I really like how the cover designer used superimposed images of Grover and Cookie Monster to really add some depth to the image. This live concert was part of a tour that the Sesame Street cast did in the early 70s. The cast included Northern Calloway as David, Emilio Delgado as Luis, Will Lee as Mr. Hooper, Loretta Long as Susan, Sonia Manzano as Maria, Bob McGrath as Bob, and interestingly enough, Hal Miller is credited as Gordon on this release. He was the second Gordon and not Roscoe Orman, who is the most recognized Gordon, who joined the cast in season six. While the Muppets that appeared were Big Bird, Cookie Monster and Grover, and Snuffleupagus, here performed by Jerry Nelson. I also found this Sesame Street 45 single of Welcome and I've Got Two, which coincidentally, I didn't find just one, but two Sesame Street 45s. The other one being a 45 single of Somebody Come and Play and a very simple dance. And while I am very familiar with Somebody Come and Play, I am simply not remembering a very simple dance. However simple it may be. I also picked up this Sesame Street picture book of Gordon Tells the Story of Giveaway Gibson, which was written by Sesame Street's original Gordon, Matt Robinson. This is part of a series of picture book and records of Gordon telling stories. Unfortunately, it did not come with its record, so now I am on the hunt for the record of Giveaway Gibson to complete this set. Unlike in years past, this year's Farpoint, It's a Toy Show, It's a Toy Show, was only held at Farpoint's main location. However, there was another toy show down the street where my friend Patricia found two items I needed for my collection. Here we have not one, but two Muppet Christmas stockings. So here we have Miss Piggy and a penguin and Kermit with two frogs, one of which I'm assuming is Robin. I know, shockingly, I didn't already have them in my collection. However, I did have the Fozzie and I believe these two now complete my set. It was great to see a few fans at the show some of which even brought gifts. Debbie found an old comic from when Jim Henson died and gave me a copy. It's from the Philadelphia Inquirer's political cartoonist, Tony Off, and features the cast of Sesame Street mourning the loss. So here we see the Sesame Street lamppost adorned with a black ribbon with Cookie Monster, Bert, Harry, Ernie, Elmo, The Count, Prairie Dawn, a chicken, Big Bird, Oscar, and even Kermit the Frog bawling their eyes out which is definitely how I looked when I heard the news as well. I can still sadly remember that day very well, and I'm sure it's one of me and many Muppet fans' worst days that they can remember. But on a lighter note, I want to thank Debbie again for the gift. Viewer Joe went way overboard with his gifts, giving me this whole bag of Sesame Street die-cast vehicles with Big Bird and Radar in a pickup truck, Ernie in a police car, Cookie Monster driving a school bus, Big Bird in a green car, Elmo conducting a locomotive, and Big Bird in a fire truck. But that's not all. Joe also gave me a whole other bag of Sesame Street figures, including Policeman Bert, Fireman Grover, Construction Worker Ernie, Chef Cookie Monster, a rollerblading Abby Cadabby, and a skateboarding Rosita. But that's not all. There was also this 50th anniversary claw machine Grover plush by Toy Factory, still with its tags, this play school tray puzzle of Cookie's Sea Puzzle, still brand new and factory sealed, as well as this 1996 Tyco Sleep and Snore Ernie, also still brand new and factory sealed, and this Disney Parks mystery minifigure of Gonzo. And while I did already have one in my collection, as you can see, this one is still brand new and factory sealed. I want to thank everyone that came out to the show, especially Debbie and Joe for those amazing gifts. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite item from this video was. Please be sure to follow us on all our social media channels and I'll see you next time from the Muppet Stuff Museum. Oh, come on, Ernie. I get it. This video wasn't your favorite, but come on, give me something here. That's not what I meant.